Um, Come on Harry Maguire, Lindelof and Rashford appear to pick up knocks the other night. Have you any update on them? Uh, it's still still early. Hopefully we uh, we can um, get them back on the pitch on uh, tomorrow. They still they got some treatment yesterday. A little bit more treatment today. Light session and hopefully they they're ready. I'm, I can't tell you exactly now. Have you got any update on Twanzebe, Matic, Shaw? Yeah, they're not ready for tomorrow. That's the update. Are they expected back soon? Probably after the international break. Uh, that is always a, a risk if you pu uh, push them back too early. But if we have the two extra weeks after international breaks, they should all be uh, be ready for them. Only three away wins. What, what's clicked? What's changed? That's football. Uh, sometimes you get the the look of the dice. Sometimes you you don't. At the moment, we're. Uh, the, the game on Wednesday night was decided by, a, by an unbelievable strike by Marcus, obviously, in in Partizan uh, or in Belgrade. We defended really well, some great uh, last-ditch uh, defend, defending there. And um, Norwich, I, th I think that was a good game, obviously. So the confidence is getting better. Uh, getting players back from injury helps. So all put together. Uh, it's But in, in football, it's not very far from uh, failure to success or uh, the other way around. But did the confidence stem from what you did in the international break, because you obviously worked hard, or did it stem from the performance against Liverpool? Because some, something has changed, the players look like they believe and there's more energy. Yeah, we, the international break came at the great time for us and uh, we did some work, we prepared well for the Liverpool game, which obviously if you, when you get a decent performance uh, and result against the, uh, the league leaders that gives gives you a bit of a more energy, and um, well, from from then on, I think the boys have just uh, they were happy with the with the with the work we did. Of course, maybe the system, change of system helped, and uh, so the coaches have done a great job. And then suddenly the games look like opportunities rather than banana skins, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's I'm I'm that type anyway. Every every uh, new game is an opportunity to show what you can do, and that's part of being here. That you, because I was uh, I didn't uh, play every game, so every every game I played for this club wasn't a, a chance for me to show the manager that I should be playing the next one. So uh, hopefully that's. Uh, that's what these boys feel like as well now, because we're getting players back, so we, we don't just have the 11, 12, 13 fit ones. Holly, it's just one defeat in your last eight games. Is consistency also what you've lacked this season? Because at times it's been fine margins, hasn't it? Yeah, we've, it fine margins, that's what decide football games uh, at this level. It, it is. Uh, you can a decision by the referee or a decision by a player at a certain moment. You, you turn down a pass, you turn down a finish. It's just, it's so much easier when you get confidence or momentum by by some results. And at the moment, the boys look like they play more on instinct than uh, having that extra uh, split second to think, which I spoke about a few weeks ago, if I don't recall wrongly. Bournemouth haven't scored a, a league goal in October. What are you expecting from them? Uh, I know uh, it's going to be a tough game. It's um, they've got forwards, quick, running in behind, direct. Josh, uh, Callum Wilson, Solanke, Wilson, Fraser. Their attacking uh, <coughs> prowess is uh, it's quite surprising that they haven't scored, but that's probably fine margins as well. And uh, they've not conceded loads of goals, so hopefully we can score and uh, get the first goal because. They are also very dangerous on set, uh, set plays. Talking of goal scorers, obviously Rashford got a cracker in the week. You've spoken before about maybe him getting more scruffy goals, being yep. more of a, a, a nine, but he scores goals like that. Has, has anything changed in terms of he's a wide player, he's a number nine? Well, I think since uh, Anthony's come back, uh, Marcus has uh, flourished as well, as well, blossomed. He is probably happier facing goal. Uh, being direct, uh, driving at people, taking players on, instead of being that, f call it target man, the the one with back to goal. Uh, but Marcus wants to <laughs> wants to master all the skills in the end. Uh, he's only 22, just turned 22, so I'm sure we'll see him up front as a number nine if you like. 
maybe as a two with Anthony, maybe now as as a three with uh, like we did against uh, Norwich or wide like we did against Chelsea. The, it's different ways of playing with Marcus, uh, and it was important for him and for me that he stepped up and took that penalty uh, against Chelsea. Just a word about Scott McTominay, because uh, the fans, a lot of fans, have been full of praise for him in the way that he has stepped up and become a, such a key player for you this yeah. season. And again, looks like a leader. He was showing that, yeah. you know, on, uh, on the pitch. You know, Maguire was wearing the armband. You think he might be a future captain? But what about McTominay? He's been excellent, and now they're uh, him and uh, Fred. They work in a good relationship. They played well together. They've they've done that last season. Uh, you know, PSG, Arsenal. There was quite a few games there. They played together when we had some injuries, and now as well, uh, they're working as a pair. But Scotty has been. Excellent. He's, he's a leader, as you say. He's a Man United boy. He's gone through the ranks. You can see he's been a striker with a goal he scored against uh, Norwich. You can, that's uh, on the half turn. But he's developing into uh, a, a very good midfielder. Ola, um, around a course of a season, it's done now. How would you like to sum it all up? Is it like you expected? or? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's hard to... Uh, Evaluate after just ten games and some some cup games, but it's uh, as we've said here some fine margins. I think we've played really well at times. We've uh, developed a team uh, spirit, uh, an identity, more of in intensity, aggression in the team. Suffered a bit from injuries.